You know what that box means. Slabbed comic books from CGC. Let's go! at the invoice and I got a whole box of G.I. Joe, a real American hero, and I thought all these books were over a 9-0. I tried to pull out ones that look really good, so I got them cleaned and pressed, and for 4th of July, I'll try to release this uh, video. For 4th of July, G.I. Joe, real American hero, little USA here, and we're going to do on the right is G.I. Joe 55, that is Grunt Retires from G.I. Joe. So that's a key issue there. And I got a good one. That Oh man, I got an 8-0. On the one on the left, which is G.I. Joe 36. I like that cover, though, but it is a newsstand. So maybe it has a, a little bit more of a pop because of the newsstand. Let me know in the comments below when newsstand surpasses the comic shops. Because comic shops are so new that I don't think newsstands mean anything in the early 80s. These books are like 82, 83. So I don't think newsstands really mean anything. It's about even Stevens with the uh, comic book shops. They're not really variants or uh, rare. All right, on the right, we got uh, G.I. Joe 38, and that is also a newsstand. And Destro facing off there versus uh, Storm Shadow. And on the left was the hot book everybody was talking about. That was G.I. Joe 32. What is on that guy's head? Is it a do-rag? It looks, it looks, it looks awful. Also a uh, newsstand. And it is first appearance of Ricondo, Blowtorch, Ripcord, and Lady J. Just unbelievable names, man. Blowtorch and Ripcord, just terrific. But what is on his head on the motorcycle there, right? Looks crazy. How is it staying there? All right, this is the awesome, infamous silent issue. And this is the origin, uh, first appearance of Storm Shadow, which I, I forgot about. I just know it as the silent issue. And on the, uh, I got a 7 0 though, man. I thought that was like closer to a 9. But on the right is uh, G.I. Joe number 27. And that is origin of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Goes over their origins there as they're fighting. And that's a newsstand. I think the newsstands might give it a little bit of a pop, even though these books aren't so crazy in value. The newsstands might make it pop a little bit, make it more rare. And I think a lot of these aren't really so up there in value. I might have to hold on to them a little bit and wait for them to phase into worth selling. Uh, but I'd love to just uh, encase and slab that silent issue. I had these books since I was a kid, so it's kind of fun just to slab these. And I got them cleaned and pressed, and they look really good. All right, I, got, I hit nines again on these two. All right, on the right... We have uh, G.I. Joe number 15. That is the first appearance of Major Blood. So that was the key. I didn't realize that was the key. And um, it looks really good when they uh, when we're getting over a 9 there. It looks good. And on the left, we have a, I got a 9-2 on a G.I. Joe number 13. And that looks terrific too, man. That yellow cab, it's really popping. It's not really a key either. But it just looked like it was over a 9 and looked like it was in good shape. So uh, I thought I'd get it slabbed from my... Uh, when I was a kid, I got a lot of these comics. I bought it off the rack, so some of them are in good shape. And then the uh, next book I have here is, uh, we got a bunch of first appearances here on the um, G.I. Joe. It's awesome, right? Number 11. It is the first appearance of Airborne, Gun Ho, Doc, Snowjob, and Wild Bill. And first appearance of Destro in Cameo. And that, t that cover is amazing, right? A paratrooper with a machine gun uh, shooting at a... Um, a uh, jet ski a, uh, it's just awesome right and on the right is number 12 that's not a key either but uh, oh man these are both low grades though I got an 8 and a 7 but they're both newsstands so maybe that gives it a little bit of a pop maybe that does something for me I don't know I'm hoping uh, I gotta look these over to see why I thought they were over 9 maybe my uh, my grading is lacking here I thought these were all over 9s when I was looking at them but maybe I should have inspected much better inside the book like open them up and rotate around and I got a double of that one another new stand oh but this one's a 9.8 <laughs> alright so I got a double and that one was a 9.8 even though the other one was a lower grade 
He's on the snowmobile. Oh, what did I say? Jet ski? He's on the snowmobile. And on the left, G.I. Joe number nine. I thought that was a key, but it's not. It's not a key issue. I thought that was the first something. That's uh, Scarlet there, right? Um, hanging out the chopper. That looks in great shape. Do it. Do it. Man, A5. It looks, so, it looks awesome, doesn't it? For an A5? Looks really good. Um, I like the way they look in these uh, slabs. They do a great job cleaning them. I think it had doubles of that one, too, though. The next book we have is... Um, oh, I love this. Yeah, I do have a double of the uh, Scarlet in the helicopter. And I love that cover on the left. Right? Just the uh, machine guns going back to back. It's just awesome, right? And this is um, October Guard Appearance. So this is somewhat of a key. And uh, I love them back to back with the machine guns. They're all out of bubble gum. They're just, they had to kick some tail, man. All right. And that's, uh, oh man, I got a 7-0 on that. But I got a 9-4 on the second one on the right there. So I had to double that. And it's a newsstand. So maybe the newsstand does something for it, makes a pop. I kind of love that cover, though, man. That's great. On number seven. All right, he's next to... I had no idea on the right. I'm looking at this book. On the right is G.I. Joe number five. It's a second printing. I had no idea. I couldn't even tell. Um, I don't know why I had a second print of that book. <laughs> and on the left, we have... Uh, with G.I. Joe number four, right? And that looks terrific, right? I love getting these uh, high grades on these uh, early 80s books. Looks kind of sharp, kind of cool. And I love these covers, man. The tank, right? Were they in uh, Central Park there? And uh, I got some, uh, I got a couple more G.I. Joes for 4th of July in the holiday spirit here. I got number three on the right. Yes, I got over a nine on this also. And on the left, I knew this was a second printing uh, because of the uh, pricing there. The way the pricing is 75 cents there. But I don't know why I had a second printing of number two. I think number two was low printed. And a lot of people had it was hard to find. But the second print is worth some money, actually, in these high grades. So I thought I'd slab that. So these aren't really high value, like, really books. Maybe uh, 100, 200 bucks. But um, I think they'll phase into uh, higher uh, pricing. I'll get them slabbed. And maybe I'll hold on to some of them before I... Uh, uh, so I'll wait for him to get a little bit, uh... Two more books here. All right, and I got the... <clears throat> I got the number one on the, uh, Baxter paper. And I had a double. So I had a copy of it. These are both newsstands. Oh, nice grades. I got over nine. If you like the content here, like and subscribe. I got a 9.2 and 9.2. I was going for a 9.8 on one of them. I thought one looked better than the other. I thought the one on the left was a lot, looked a lot better. I thought one had a shot. But they both got nine twos. These are both newsstands. But like I said, early 80s, I guess newsstand really doesn't mean anything. Because the same amount of books would be in a newsstand. Comic book shops were very new. So the comic book shop would probably... The direct uh, is probably actually more rare than the newsstand in the early 80s and the 70s. So let me know when that transfer happens. Is it late 80s, early 90s? When the newsstand starts having value as a variant or as a low-pressed uh, book? But these look terrific in these uh, slabs here. I'm glad I actually uh, cleaned and pressed these and put them in a slab instead of just having them bag and board. But I hope you guys like that. I tried to hit July 4th, holiday weekend, and we are all done. End of the show, guys. The box is empty. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Check out my other videos. And I will see you guys next time.